What is up, everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Bring you another Brutal Age video. I'm gonna bring a couple of new attacks, new partners. I'm gonna use some of Splash's attacks from Server 323, one of the greatest players in the game in the history of the world. This is this video is called Easy's Wish List. It's gonna show some of the best partners in the game, what everyone wants. First, let's go over what makes a champion in Brutal Age. A splash from 323. What makes him a, a Brutal Age champ? Is it the 900 million power, the 130 million kills, uh, the dozens of fully maxed partners, maxed outposts, maxed dinos? They all help, but no, that's not what makes him the great player. It's his humble guidance, attention to detail, uh, con consistent participation, big, big asset. Uh, but most importantly, he uses his patience. He, he doesn't have any hasty attacks. He doesn't go in the world chat and talk trash to everyone every time he gets mad. I don't think I've ever seen him mad. So patience is a very important part of the game. Here's some of the impact partners in this particular attack. We'll go over some of the attacks, some of the big big partners in each attack. Uh, and this attack right here is the Red Colonel. Red Colonel, some of these older partners are still vital in the game. Uh, Red Colonel kind of switches, uh, turns the entire attack around right from the very beginning. She, you have to use speed on her. If she's fast enough, she'll get the first lick and she will make the entire team immune. So as the other team attacks you, you won't get any debuffs on you. Then when your team attacks the other team, you'll start off by knocking them out. And it kind of just tilts the entire attack into your favor. Uh, so Red Colonel, big, big partner. Not, not one of the um, real hard to get elite partners, but still a big partner either way Let's move on to probably the most accessible elite partner. It's the red god of earth You get red god of earth. You can get it from using puzzle pieces in the old ball smithy uh, War pattern for Saya to Thera. That's what everyone uses on her You don't need any luck for the Red God of Earth. You can collect the puzzle pieces and the little shrimps We'll talk about that a little more uh, Later on in the video the third skill for Red God of Earth is deadly It, it basically knocks all of the enemy partners CD into max uh, rounds um, I use my Red God of Earth probably in 75% of the matches that I'm in. That's how effective she is so something that it's one of the partners that everyone should be able to get it may take a little while to get her uh, I I think I'm going to go over that a little more We'll break down what it takes to get the Red God of Birth and for you, you new players You'll see what kind of investment in time and energy you'll you'll need to pick up some of these elite partners now Fortunately, there are partners you can go out there and earn uh, by, by collecting things a lot of the elite partners you have to gain them through events there's a bunch of events that you, if you haven't noticed yet, there's events every day. A lot of these events are very important, especially when it comes down to the uh, Divinion events that have the elite partners. Um, my suggestion is during these events, if you're a new player, talk to the experienced players. Find out the best partners, the best colors, and, uh, and go for it. <laughs> uh, moving on real quick. This, we're, we're inside the old ball smithy. Uh, what I wanted to do is kind of show everyone, especially the newer players, how you can get Red God of Earth. Uh, you'll have to do the rally attacks. It's when you attack uh, the the green Saya or the, the red Th Thera or the blue Ian with other members from your uh, clan, your horde, or even other servers now. Uh, you'll have to collect 80 of the unknown partner pieces in 240. Uh, it costs 240 dancing shrimp as well, and you will get your own Red God of Earth. It may seem like a big investment of time and energy, but do it. She's worth it. Even if you end up getting her by spinning a gold turtle, uh, you you can just remember if you have the same exact partner again, you can feed it to yourself itself, and you'll increase its skill. So it's always worth working on getting the Red God of Earth. Now you can also find all this a, a lot of information on all the partners. A lot of people don't know it. You can go to what's called the Brudex. You go into the partner, I click the partner icon, go to the upper right hand corner, click on the Brood X, and we're talking about the Red God of Earth, so I went and clicked on the Red God of Earth. You can see it maxes out at 6 stars and 6 red stars, which that's the level of awakening. It even has the two little icons on the left hand side of the screen that will show you the most popular 
uh, war pattern setups which are war patterns for those of you that don't know is the armor that that she uses and it also shows you the recommended partners that uh, that most players will use with the Red Guard of Earth with the most success so I would suggest looking at all of their abilities they change after the third awakening on many of the partners so there's there's a, a lot of time that you want to spend doing a little research on all of your elite partners remember it's vital to build them right war patterns mean everything at, especially at first so moving on again <laughs> splash one of the things he loves to do he loves to match up with other elite players and, and th these are all top 20 matches 25 matches and he'll try to put in the same exact partners that they have and just kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe, see who comes out on top but here he leaves the red nomad at home and brings the blue desert prince with him blue desert prince does a really nice team buff and he's going to use that team buff to increase the effectiveness of the red guard of earth and it, remember most of these partners on both sides of these matches that we're going to watch they're all, they're all maxed out so they are doing a ton of damage watch what the red guard of earth does to the other side uh, that's devastating he just basically smashes them all Okay, so we're going to hit a couple of the other partners over this next match. These are partners that you really want to have on your team. First, Red Ursa Huntress. And remember, these are very specific to color as well. Uh, she's a great one-on-one -on -one attacker. Uh, she'll either attack with two hits with her and the bear, or sometimes four hits, three on three her and one on the bear. And these are just devastating attacks. Uh, Green, Valor the Tusk. He does an enemy team attack and and a, he's just a great all-around team player. He does a great team buff and a great uh, enemy team attack. And just something else to mention, uh, I was talking to Splash and he said that people don't give enough consideration to the older partners with the correct setup. These older partners are just as effective as some of these new elite partners. So something to keep in mind that if you have, he just used the, the blue guard of earth and it was amazing how 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 much damage it did and it's, it's just one of the offbeat partners now considering all the new partners and how much power there is out there so different player this is dd from server 323 he's got a great setup here and this is one of those built for success teams he's going to use the red nomad and he's going to use the red little ghost along with the red drum beater those three partners are all going to protect the, the Red Nomad. The Red Nomad has the lowest hit points. So the other team is going to attack the Red Nomad. They'll eventually kill the Red Nomad. And then the Red Little Ghost will bring him back to life. And give him what's called Unyielding. Once he has Unyielding, he's not, he won't be able to be killed for a couple rounds. So they will. the other team will beat him down to zero health. And because he has zero health, they're going to be attracted to attacking him. So the whole team is going to be stuck on attacking him. And while they're attacking him, the red drum beater will shield them. The little ghost will keep on bringing him back to life. Meanwhile, the red god of earth w will slowly but surely beat down the whole other team. L red little ghost, another elite partner, sitting at the four stars. You can get red god of earth. I'm sorry, red little ghost. You saw him just bring back the drum beater. Get red little ghost from the. Fire Frost event. I believe it's a Song of Fire Frost. You have to get to the ninth level to get red. Oh, well, any little ghost. And really, you know, you're going to try to get red, but you get a lot of greens. I found that out myself. With the his revive, this is Red God, the red little ghost. He will get his partner 1% hit point or health point, 100% of the action bar, so he'll attack right away. He gets an attack buff and then the unyielding and the unyielding is really the key of the whole thing and you notice that that blue nomad king with the gold armor and the gold sword is a maxed out sixth awakened uh partner and with the right war patterns and with don't forget everyone you don't have an unlimited amount of these artifacts but the artifacts are really really important uh, some of these artifacts will keep you in the game every time that every time that blue nomad got attacked his natural skill is to regain some health but the, the war the war pattern right the artifact that he had helped him even more and most of the time he was regaining more health than he was losing 
He just it was just four and one, so he ended up getting his ass handed to him anyway. So, with the new daily event, the clan hunt, you'll go into your clan settings in the bottom right hand side of the screen, and you'll see that you'll have either two attacks or three attacks. I believe you get six attacks a day. So if you stay active, you get a bunch of attacks. You get a bunch of, of benefits from it. So I'm going to try to avoid giving bad advice for once. And, but I, I will like to say that this is a new feature. So tactics might change. But from what I've seen so far, you want to bring out your big heavy hitting single target partners. Uh, allow the artifacts to heal you as you go. I wouldn't bring healers, like just soul healers like... Uh, like your red guitarist because she's just not doing enough damage per strike remember the uh this giant that you're fighting it is keeping track of how many attacks it does and once it once it gets attacked 40 times it's going to do a strike that's going to do about a hundred thousand damage to your team so that's going to kill pretty much everyone the only one that's not going to die every time would be the red nomad king because i think you can only do like 80 percent of his max health in one attack so he'll live through that first attack, but he might get attacked again immediately right after that and die then. A few things that you really want to try to avoid doing. Avoid using partners that give those multi-round shields or multi-round buffs to your team. Because the giant will steal them and if you give him the buff like from the red yellow, he'll end up stealing it and being immune to your attacks for two rounds. You want to beat him down as much as you can every single round. Uh, after the 40, 40th combined attack, he's going to do some amazing damage. So don't think you're going to live forever even if you have great partners. And I believe I saw a time 6. So you can get up to time 6 as far as speeding ahead. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, try using some of your partners that do damage based on the enemy's max hit point. Uh, come and tell me how it went too. I've been trying different partners. I've been using Red Rudolph and the Tree Man. I think I did 90,000 damage with the Tree Man. Uh, he, I think there was like 30 debuffs on the Giant. And you, you notice even with that 100,000 uh, strike, Nomad still lives because you can only do a certain amount of damage to him at one time. But then he doubled up on the hits and knocked his brains out. So he died anyway. Coming up soon, we have some... Material on the brutal season on the new flaming features flaming features and What 2020 will bring to brutal age? I think you'll be pretty surprised at what's going on. So you don't want to miss it Thanks for watching at minute 13. I appreciate everyone till next time. It's been easy. Take care everybody